How's it going, guys? I'm off to Mr. Girl from Wales. Welcome back to another episode of Beyond Two Souls. Right now, we're cooking dinner. Cooking with Oz. You guys have always wanted this. Uh, whoop. Oops. I don't know how I could have stuffed that up. So far, so good. Should I get rid of all this crap? Use a wok. I presume you keep it in the cupboard up here? Nope. No, down here then. Well, do we need to consult this? What's this here? Oh, I see. There we go. <laughs> She's a bit like me, a bit vertically challenged. Is that a walk? I guess it is. that thing yeah they could really improve the graphics of the food itself gotta add salt <laughs> so you can't stop me like using it you can stop using it. Put that away. Oops. Pepper. Oh, okay. And you want a little bit of ginger. You don't really need a whole lot of ginger. Not ginger. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. I mean, it's not in the recipe, but. Come on, you don't need that. I don't think so, girl. I don't think you need anything else. And neither does a guy. Alright, add the sake for flavor. <laughs> really? I think I'm beginning to like cooking. Ryan, you are gonna love this. Crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming! Well, you need to... I suppose we need to get clothes on? Is my bedroom this way? Where are my pants? Pants would be lovely right about now. Here we go. Whoa. Fuck. You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan. <laughs> Can we please get this off the fucking thing? Oh my god. What's this? I like the idea of the frying pan staying on there. <laughs> oh god, he's so funny. Uh, he's got such a personality, doesn't he? 
Oh, thank you. Now I can finally bloody. Oh my god. Girl, you need to clean. Hey, what? Chill out, Jody. Okay, just calm down. There's no need to panic. You're gonna be great. Oh my god, really? Get up. He's at the door. <sighs> There's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. <laughs> Uh, uh, fuck, this place is massive. Can I please put on some pants? Thank you. Pants there, good. Dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. Ugh. All right, there. I really would like some clothes. Here you go. Oh, crap. Do I have time to take a shower first? <laughs> yeah. Most definitely. Not in that kind of way. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, hurry up. So they put the high definition in the showering, but not in the actual, like, vegetables. That makes sense. You know what's kind of creepy is that I didn't be watching her shower all these years. It's just like bathing Ethan all over again. Good. Oh my god. Really? Get some flipping clothes on. What should I wear? Just cool will do. Oh, hey Ryan. Yeah, whatever. I just like threw these old things on because, yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. No, dress up. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna be me. I mean, there's no point in me throwing myself at the guy. Nope. That'll do. <laughs> you might as well just give up, Aiden. God, you're costing okay? me a lot of money. This date is going on. Period. <laughs> she said period. It's awkward because she's a woman. <laughs> Come on, Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass. I think we'll answer the door now. Where is the door? At the front door? Where's the front door? Actually, where is the front door? Check the stir fry. 
because that should be burning by now. No. So what am I to do now? What the fuck? This place doesn't make any sense. I feel like I'm missing something. I need to brush my teeth. You have me. Christ, Aiden. Look, you just don't get it. What's this? Really? Really? <laughs> I really think that we should put the laptop computer away because, I mean... Oh, huh. Yeah, that's very funny, Aiden. Very romantic. <laughs> it's interesting seeing her getting so excited over this. Thank you. Open it. I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me and I'm counting on you. <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. Apparently that's... That was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me, so... <sighs> why, why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um... The thing that opens the wine. <laughs> Bottle opener? Maybe? Can we check the stir fry first? There we go. <laughs> cool apartment! Huh? Fuck, this shit out of me. Yeah, thanks! I didn't. For fuck's sakes! Wish I can have an apartment this big. Do you want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. Uh, probably a good idea for him to do it. Okay, no, circular motion, that's the key. Oh, nice, I actually did it. That's not how you pour a bottle of wine. Even I know that. <laughs> do you know apartment? my new apartment. <laughs> well, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything, which is, it's actually <laughs> the first place I've ever had. Just I can't. by myself, so it's weird getting used to the idea. <laughs> and how about you, where, where do you live? Oh, I have a place just outside of town. It's small. <laughs> But you know, it's got a little garden and it's pretty quiet. And did you did you grow up? No, no, I was born in Oregon. My parents and brothers still live there, but I moved out. Mm. <laughs> it, it's nothing. It's just <laughs> Ivan's messing with us. Ignore him. Ignore him. How did you end up joining the CIA? <laughs> I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, tried the army. 
know, the action, travel, adventure, <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. I should probably, you know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure <laughs> for me. You need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> okay. I hope it's not too salty. Ah, Asian beef, right? Yeah. No, I was sent to China for a year. I love Asian food. Oh, yes! Oh, Nailed it. Do not get your hopes up. Yes. This is probably the second time that I've cooked, and I would rather not talk about the first time. Mm. This is good. Oh. Good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> So we've been working together now for what, what two years? I mean, almost nothing about you. Oh. I mean, there's nothing much to say. Um, I grew up with my parents on the Dude. DPA campus, and then Dude. and then Nathan looked after me, and he um, pretty much know the rest. So. Full of wine glass. <laughs> no, look at me. <laughs> Your parents, do you, uh, <laughs> still see them? No. No, I don't. I'm, I think they were just terrified about how different it was. <laughs> okay, are you sure everything's okay? Yes, everything's fine. Aiden is just, he's just feeling a little nervous. It's okay, really. <laughs> you know, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Ivan? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a, a lot of stuff about the info world. Really, not much about Ivan. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. <laughs> it's like, is he here now? Listening yeah. to us and... Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves me. Uh, what about you? Do you have do you have any family here? No. No, my uh my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. Mm -hmm. Oh really? What's that? And are you um are you married or anything? No. No. But, yeah, I, mean, I, I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for two years. And, uh, yeah, it couldn't work. I mean, it, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. Could you be young to get married? Not you. Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so... I mean, anyone in our world. You know, Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. <sighs> Aiden's got nothing to do with this. Let's see how Aiden reacts. Oh, God. <laughs> God. No, come on. I just, I just want to see what... Oh, God. I didn't do that. It was just a kiss. It was just a kiss. No, 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 no. <sighs> I didn't hurry up. Uh. 
I hope they learnt from heavy rain. It's not so awkward. No, no. Aiden, yes, Aiden. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pay attention. It's just Aiden. <laughs> no, we're gonna stop this. I couldn't stop it before. <laughs> we're gonna stop this. Damn alarm. <clears throat> Nonsense. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, we've got to, we've got to try harder, mate. Um. Oh, hello. <laughs> nah, nah. Listen, I think I better go. Yes, no, Ryan. Aiden is five. very possessive, and he doesn't want to share you with anyone. So I, I think you got to work it out with him. Are you happy? Mm hmm Because you got what you wanted. He's gone, and now you can have me to your fucking self. I really hope you're deliriously fucking happy. I am. I really am. <laughs> and you can just fucking float in your invisible world and watch me cry. I didn't even listen to me I say. hate you. I fucking hate you! <laughs> Oops. I can't handle that sort of stuff. That nonsense wasn't gonna happen. I sure as hell wasn't gonna be a fucking fly on the wall. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Never alone. Night session. It's a night session. <laughs> it's kind of weird going back to these guys. Nathan, I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> what happened to his family? Oh. So, where did he leave that book? <clears throat> I wouldn't have a clue, dearie. Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. I don't think he's doing that. Isn't it ridiculous how we can't go into the other room without- Oh shit, I don't want to not fucking slam. Run, 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 run. Fuck. Fuck. found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. Jody. It's his family. Jody, you okay? That must be his family. Hey, look, Pam. She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes. Yes, hold on. Nathan, it's for you. Nathan Dawkins.
Oh. Okay. Nathan, what's up? That makes sense now. My wife. Yep. Lord, they were coming back from my mother's. Truck. Wrong driver. Mm. Wrong side of the road. Jody, let's get you off to bed. Nathan, stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody. Oh, fuck. Those pizza boxes are everywhere. Sorry, I had to mention that. <laughs> yep, don't drink, drink and drive, kids. Admission. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. He commands a heavily armed militia using it to control several important districts in the city, which means none of our humanitarian aid is getting through. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Now, he relocates twice a day. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. Not much of a chance he's still there, but it's as good a place as any to start looking. Right. You'll be on your own this mission. No direct engagement with the enemy, no backup. You identify and eliminate your target, then activate your GPS beacon so we can extract you. We need to get you out before sunrise, so don't waste any time. Now, the last American soldier that was captured here was pulled through the city behind a jeep. They found his head, one of his legs, in a fishing boat. I wouldn't recommend it. I'll be back before they even realize what's happening. Watch yourself out there, Jody. I don't want anything to happen to you. I can't... I don't know if it's happened before or after. That dinner. We still have time before I go, right? Mm. organization was like against the thing of the army whatever anyway like favorite and subscribe guys and we'll be back with the mission afterwards bye how's it going guys i'm off the mr go from Oz. welcome back to the cia surely there'd be a notice like a big massive chopper out in the middle of the ocean surely 